Stanley Park Gators and your families. My name is Tracy Layton. I am the guidance counselor here at Stanley Park Public School, and my role is to guide you through the grade eight to nine transitions. Welcome parents and students to the Stanley Park grade eight to nine transition session. This is virtual this year in the year of COVID. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to call the school and ask to speak to me or to send me an email. All of my information is contained in this slideshow. There is a Stanley Park site. You can access it by clicking on this link here. We're here to talk about high school selections for next year. Most grade eight students will be going to Grand River Collegiate if they're attending Stanley Park. That is our home school. If you are choosing a magnet program, you will be attending a different high school. If you're not sure of where you're attending, check online. There is a website that will help you to navigate to your home school based on your home address. The link is on this slide here. I would enter grade nine as your school year and it will give you the secondary school that's your home school based on where you live. If you're not sure or if you're having problems, just give me a call or send me an email. There are several magnet programs that students will be attending. We have English as a second language, extended French, fast forward, French immersion, instrumental strings, integrated arts, and an international baccalaureate program. The International baccalaureate program is an application-based program. Students will begin applying on December 1st and they will receive confirmation by the end of January. For more information about the baccalaureate program, you can click on the link in the slide deck and the slide deck will be posted on the uh, Google Classrooms for the students and will be sent to parents as well through school day. The International Baccalaureate program is based on international academic standards and it's best suited for motivated students who are achieving around a 75% or higher in grade eight. The next program that students could apply to is the Integrated Arts program. There's an audition requirement as well or a portfolio. Students may major in one of the following elements, visual arts, dance, drama, vocal, instrumental music, or strings. If students are interested in the arts program, they've been asked to join a Google Classroom and should have already done so. It's not too late if they haven't, however. And if you as a parent want more information on the integrated arts program, there is a link in this slide deck here. French immersion is taking place at KCI, and that is for students who are already enrolled in a French immersion program in their elementary school. There is no application for this program. Students will have to fill out a letter of intent, which we will do at school, and I will pass that on to KCI for them. Extended French is available at Grand River Collegiate for those students who don't want to go through the entire French immersion program at KCI. The only difference is there's three less courses that students need to take that are being taught in French throughout their career at the high school. For more information, you can visit the Grand River Collegiate High School site. Fast Forward is a program that requires an application. Mr. Johnston at Stanley Park will be looking after this program and will contact families that this might apply to. Strings is a program offered at Grand River Collegiate and that's for students who are enrolled in an elementary school strings program or who can provide evidence of previous strings experience. For example, they have gone through the Royal Conservatory of Music and they may enter that program. English as a second language is offered at Eastwood and that's for students who have recently arrived to Canada um, and where their usual means of communication at home is not in English. This will help them develop their proficiency in English. And I'll be speaking to those students that this may apply to. 
Diploma requirements for an Ontario Secondary School diploma are 30 credits, 18 compulsory, that's 18 credits that they must take, and 12 electives, 12 that will be their choice. There is a community involvement portion that is likely going to change from 40 hours due to COVID and students not being able to volunteer as readily. As well, there's a successful completion of a literacy test in grade 10. Students in grade nine will take eight courses, five compulsory and three elective. Compulsory courses are courses such as English, math and science at the academic, applied or essential level, and then geography and French at academic or applied. Elective courses are courses like art, music, physical education, business, information technology, which includes working on the computer um, using programs such as Excel, and integrated technologies, which is more of a woodworking shop style course, also individual and family living. This is a sample of a typical grade nine student timetable in a regular year. This year, rather than having two semesters, high schools have broken their year up into four semesters with students taking two courses at one time. So typically, a student would take four courses in the first semester and four courses in their second semester. Next year, if COVID is still an issue, students will likely be taking four semesters. More information will be coming from the high schools on December 1st. Course type and designation. Students in grade nine and 10 may take courses that have a label of academic, applied, essential, or open. Those courses will lead to grade 11 and 12 courses that will have a label of university, university or college, college, workplace, or open on them, meaning that those courses will lead to a option after secondary school that involves either university, college, or workplace. Open courses are open to everyone regardless of whether they are taking academic, applied, or essential. And academic courses will lead more to university and university or college courses. Applied courses will lead to college, workplace, and open courses as well as university or college. Essential will lead to workplace courses only. And in academic courses, students will learn essential concepts. A good rule of thumb is if a student is receiving 70% or over in their grade eight courses, although that's not the only indication. Students should strongly consider where they want to go after secondary school when choosing academic courses. Applied courses are, are offered in English, math, science, history, geography, and French, and they emphasize practical hands-on application of concepts. Students receiving between 50 and 70% in grade eight should consider applied courses, although that's not the only guideline they should consider. They should also think about where they want to go after high school. Open courses are uh, uh, more about personal interest and gaining experience about who you are and what you're interested in, and they are open to everyone regardless of what their goals are for after secondary school. A grade level equivalent is a learning strategies course that is offered to some students who have IEPs and it will be recommended by their current teacher. Secondary schools next year are offering a new option and these are locally developed courses. These courses will be for students who may struggle with meeting the compulsory credit requirements for their diploma and so they can meet with their teachers and their guidance counselor to develop their own course, which will be then counted as a compulsory credit. It will provide them with additional support in upgrading their knowledge and skills, and it meets their educational needs. So this is an exciting new option for students for next year. Your next steps. Your next step should be to decide if you would like to apply for a magnet program. If so, find out more by visiting the website or making an appointment with me. Attend the general information nights that the secondary schools will be posting virtually. Those postings will be live December 1st. 
Teachers will then fill out a recommendation for each student on whether the teacher feels that that student would be best suited for academic applied or essential level courses in grade nine. And of course, it is always up to the parent and the child to decide which course they wish to take. And then Ms. Layton and core teachers, myself and core teachers, will work with students to make their course selections online using MyWay. That will happen in February. December 1st is the key date to be aware of, and more information will be coming to you then. Michelle, once again, key dates for you. December 1st is when all of the websites become live. January 12th is when all the magnet program applications are due. February 14th is when My Way opens up for course selection, and I will be walking students through every step of the way. If you need more information, just give me a call, call the school, or send me an email, Tracy underscore Layton at WRDSB.ca.